It's the heart of winter in the mother city, but on Friday she put her best foot forward. Sunshine met the crowds outside City Hall, where the Stormers arrived to say hello. For the first time since the Springboks won the World Cup, people came out to celebrate a little. And for the first time in nearly three years, one could also see smiles everywhere. The victorious rugby team lifted the United Rugby Championship trophy to much adoration and joy. And for the first time in several years too, the players came out to people to stop for pictures and have a chat. Um, we owe to the people and it's amazing with the coaches, the players, the friends um, that I've, I've played with during the season. There was a time where it was COVID and stuff where we couldn't even have this interview, where we can, can have this interview now and, and greeting people and, and, and shaking hands with them. I think it's really amazing. The team says it was spectacular to play in stadiums that welcome back crowds again as it spurs teams on to do their best. From playing in front of an empty stadium to 2,000 people, you know, to actually to a final where we had 31,000 people, you know, it, it was sold out to capacity or to restrictions. So, um, you know, since the start of 2020, we had the slogan in our team or, or our, our mission was to get Cape Town smiling. With masks for now a thing of the past, it's time to look to the future. They sent a beautiful message to the city that we are, Cape Town is back after these two long, difficult years. Uh, it's, it's just emotional to, to feel the whole city coming out together, united, so much fierce. Cape Town's back. The team says the victory is hopefully the beginning of more great things to come. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.